It just gives us much larger historical context of the behaviors of students um, earlier in their college search process so that we can get in front of them, communicate with them earlier, make sure that, um, you know, it, that DigiPen is a good fit for them and, and share, share with them what, you know, what we offer. the view viewers know much about um, the daily visitor reports, but um, each of my staff members gets their uh, their DVR segregated by their territories um, around the country. And um, I, I kind of spearhead the efforts on what to do with those DVRs, but my staff do know that they need to be checking those, you know, a couple times a week. It's impossible to look at those every single day with all that we have going on, which is no problem. But what it does nicely is it puts a lot of pieces together and tells a full story about the students that are within their territories that they're they're learning about, that they're coming to know, that they're nurturing, that they're communicating with in various ways that they know that are coming to their virtual events or their in-person events or that they're gonna go see when they travel out to their college fair. So the nice thing about the GVRs is, is that it shows them the behavior of those prospective students on our website. And it really gives us insights into what they're most interested in. Um, and, and what's nice about it is that with that and with utilizing um, our CRM, which is Slate, which a lot of people use, um, you know, we can tell uh, what when students take action. Um, we can see the emails that are that are sent to them. We can see the contents that's sent to them. We can tell what they click on, and we can know what they're most interested in. And um, that just gives us great insight into how to form formulate a conversation with a with a student. Maybe information that we can tell that they they want but they don't quite have or they or anticipate questions that they might ask us or if they didn't ask us those questions give them the answer anyway um so there's there's a lot of ways in which we can um we can string together um helpful and useful information especially with a prospective student that or you know or family member maybe a first gen college student that they don't even know what question to ask they don't even know what they were they know what they were clicking on but they didn't know that there's a step further that they could take to understand um how they might have access to a resource but what I think it does for us that is is new to us actually since we really introduced Capture into our lives at DigiPen is um, it just gives us much larger historical context of the behaviors of students um, earlier in their college search process so that we can get in front of them, um, communicate with them earlier, make sure that, um, you know, it, that DigiPen is a good fit for them and, and share share with them what, you know, what we offer and, you know, we offer a, all of our degrees for the most part are within the STEM field. So, um, you know, they talk a lot about the, um, in fact, I was just in a, another webinar about the 2025 enrollment cliff with less students graduating from high school. And um, so just just really making sure that we're tailoring our communication, that the funnel, the funnel now is no longer just, you know, buy 100,000 names and see where they drop, it's buy the right names and, and talk to the right type of student and make sure that they're the right fit and retention is a whole big part of this piece. And so, um, so all of these sort of platforms and, and solutions married together, I think, are, are going to be helpful for us as, you know, to, to sort of formulate and work with marketing and our email communications um, to understand what students want to hear from us, when they want to hear it, um, when, you know, when we need to, to make the next step on, on inviting them to campus or giving them a phone call or sending them a text message or inviting them to our Discord or, I mean, you know, all day long they can access us from a hundred different points in the world. And so um, making sure that the, the, the points by which we do that are going to give us the best return.